So let's take a look at several standards organizations that were formed, have been formed over the last 30 years, and still exist, most of them today. It's not important to understand all of the standards that have come out of these organizations, but you need to have an awareness of what the organization is, and we'll refer back to it later on in different areas. First is ISO, the International Standards Organization. We also use many standards from the IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Now the ISO is going to give us our basic communication protocols. The IEEE is more interested with the very low-level physical standards, which we'll see a little bit later. Also in developing standards, the National Security Agency was very involved at different levels, ensuring that security is maintained and that the standards will work with both secure systems as well as systems that are not so security oriented. The National Institute for Standards and Technology, again another formal standards organization and one that most people have heard of, ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, comes out with many standards, some of those with relations to character sets, but that's not all they do. The many different standards, again, we'll refer back to those as we move through. And then the CCITT, the International Telegraph and Telephone Consultative Committee. Be aware of each of these organizations, what the abbreviations stand for when you see them, because you will see these pop up from time to time during a discussion of network standards.